Sometimes on the darkest days, a ray of sunshine breaks through. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 Jenna Johnson performances on Dancing with the Stars. It's a super intense dance. You have to attack it, just like Beyonce. The angel of the ballroom <laughs> with the heap action of a devil. <laughs> Everything I like. This is why artists create, to have moments like this where it's just pure perfection. For this list, we'll be looking at the most memorable dances that this professional has performed on the show so far. Which of Jenna's dances got a perfect score from you? Let us know in the comments. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 20, Cha 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 to Sissy That Walk with Adam Rippon. During their dance debut, this pair proved that they were here to slay. The choreography was full of fun and sassy steps, including voguing and their own take on the iconic death drop at the end. Carrie Ann said that it was clear that Adam was born to do this show. For week one, they certainly set the bar high and cemented themselves as the ones to watch. You can see the blossoming friendship between this pair and their chemistry only makes the dance even more compelling. This routine was so fierce that we imagine that even Mama Roo would offer her highest congratulations. On week one, to achieve that level is quite extraordinary. Number 19. Trio Salsa to I'm Too Sexy with Joe Amabile and Jordan Kimball. For season 27's Trio Night, Jenna invited Joe Amabile's fellow Bachelor alum Jordan Kimball to join in for a very memorable salsa. Though neither guy was a natural dancer, they performed with commitment, even while Jordan dealt with a wardrobe malfunction. The trio showed strong chemistry and great teamwork in this playful piece. Unfortunately, the judges weren't exactly blown away. That said, both these bachelors had a great attitude about their dancing, and that's what sold the number. Apparently, everyone had fun. So much so that the performance would get an all-bachelor encore for the finale. I have no idea if I was watching Magic Mike, Tragic Mike, <laughs> Michael the Mechanics. No idea. Number 18, Jive to Kiss You with Jake T. Austin. Perhaps best known for his role in Wizards of Waverly Place, Jake hoped this would be an opportunity to show audiences another side of him. I think it's an important time for me to be back in the spotlight. I'm not this kid that you used to see on TV. He dove straight into the deep end with this high stamina, speedy, and incredibly energetic jive. Perhaps he struggles to keep up with his dance partner, but there's no denying that they're having a lot of fun. You have to commend him on his eagerness and determination too. He and Jenna are clearly a perfect match and we can only imagine the heights they could have reached together. Unfortunately, after just two dances, Jake and Jenna were eliminated from the competition. Yeah, yeah, and let me kiss you. Number 17, Cha 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 to Go Diego Go theme with Jake T. Austin. If you thought Jake's voice sounded familiar, you've probably seen this Nick Jr. show in which he plays the title role. It also turns out that its theme song is perfect for a cha cha cha. Deep inside the jungle where nature's running wild, coming to the rescue is a very special child. This Latin style is challenging at the best of times, and this dance in particular was especially lively and fast. In hindsight, Jake said that he probably should have opted for the slower dances in his first couple of weeks. Discovering together, yeah, we're always having fun. Helping out each other, yeah, it's good for everyone. Still, there's no denying how much fun they're both having throughout the number. Sadly, the audience decided that it really was time for Diego to go, and they were eliminated. Go, Diego, go! Number 16. Argentine Tango to El Tango de Roxanne with Joe Amabile. 
While these two were often considered the season 27 underdogs, this was the week that everything changed. Joe needs to be shaken up, and I have the perfect idea. Dancing a Halloween-inspired Argentine tango, the pair brought all the intensity and drama, making this their best dance yet. Sure, there might have been one tiny mishap, but their performance was so spectacular that we'd be compelled to turn a blind eye. Even the judges agreed that this was a huge improvement from the previous weeks and sent them soaring up the leaderboard. What a huge change! Now you understand what we're talking about. Presence, commitment, following through with every move. Sometimes all it takes is embodying a character and becoming immersed in the story to turn a good performance into a great one. Number 15. Jazz to Good Vibrations with Neve Shulman. Neve was surprised to learn that his partner didn't know that Mark Wahlberg was the artist behind their song. But considering she wasn't actually born yet when the song came out, we think she can probably be forgiven. Still, she manages to choreograph this epic feel good throwback hitting one classic jazz move after another. While jazz routines on the show often rely on mind-blowing lifts, this one instead focused on nailing the full-on and detailed choreography. It paid off too, as the judges loved their performance and scored them 26 out of 30. This performance never fails to put a smile on our faces. Number 14, Paso Doble to Survivor with Karamo Brown. They say always leave them wanting more, which is exactly what we got with this spooktacular Paso Doble. Karamo felt the song strongly reflected his journey on the show so far and was ready to attack it like Beyonce would. I have been the survivor. Every week it's been low scores, you're not good enough. And so this week is another chance to show the judges that I love being here and I'm going to the top. They definitely would have made Queen Bee proud with this powerful Paso, which they dance with the utmost conviction and ferocity. Unfortunately, as amazing as their performance was, the competition was so fierce that it wasn't enough to save them that week. However, in an essay for People, Jenna said that she felt like they, quote, went out with a bang. And we could not agree more. We had yeah. good scores, the fan was into it, and then, you know, we got lifted up at the end as if we won the mirror ball. So I think we left feeling like champions. Number 13, Foxtrot to The Way You Look Tonight with Neve Shulman. This phenomenal pair performed two spectacular foxtrots during season 29. However, we just have to mention their classy debut dance, which left us all utterly awestruck. I will feel a glow just thinking of you. They pulled out their inner Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers for this elegant and glamorous dance that was very reminiscent of the golden era. Keep that breathless charm. Won't you please arrange it, cause I love you. Scoring a very respectable 20, this turned out to be their lowest score of the entire season. After refining Neve's ballroom skills, this pair treated us to another beautiful foxtrot to Harry Styles' Sign of the Times. We gotta get away. After watching these stunning ballroom dances, we were left wondering if there's anything that this couple couldn't do. Number 12, Contemporary to Someone You Loved with Karamo Brown. Karamo dedicated this dance to his long estranged father, who was in the audience that night. As a young gay boy, I just wanted my father to love me for me, and he wasn't in a space yet to do it. And the fact that Years later, me in my late 30s, he could finally come around and say I love you and I support you was big for me. No one choreographs contemporary quite like Jenna, and this dance perfectly illustrates the story they were striving to tell. I need somebody to hear, but it's never the same. 
You can't help but well up a little due to the strong emotions that radiate out of this pair through every heartfelt step. Every move is so fluid and lyrical, and their daring lifts simply reflect the tight bond they share too. It's a beautiful and fitting way to honor Karamo's fractured relationship with his father and their path to healing. And without a doubt, this was their best dance yet. Number 11, Contemporary to O, with Adam Rippon. This was another dance that had us reaching for the tissues. Dancing to the same song he skated to when he won bronze in the Olympics, Adam dedicated this dance to his mother, who's his biggest supporter. This has got to be one of the most challenging and intricate contemporary dances we've ever seen on the show. However, Jenna and Adam prove that they are a match made in heaven by dancing each step flawlessly. The judges piled on the praise over their control, emotion, artistry, and just the beauty of their performance. Bruno called it a masterpiece, and Carrie Ann called it pure perfection. Number 10, Cha-Cha-Cha to Dynamite with Neve Shulman. When Neve was announced for the season 29 lineup, fans weren't quite sure what to expect. But by week two, this pair proved that they could nail the Latin as well as the ballroom. So watch me break the fire, set the night alight. Shoes on, get up in the ball, cup of milk, let's rock and roll. Dancing this dynamite cha-cha to the BTS hit, the duo proved that they had what it takes to make it to the finals, especially with their undeniable bond, fluidity, and that unbelievable hip action. Jenna's choreography perfectly complements her partner's skill set, and it's just a whole lot of fun. It's not always easy to make the cha-cha look engaging, but between Jenna's choreo and Neve's natural rhythm, they had us hooked. Number 9, Quick Step to Make Way with Adam Rippon. For the second week in a row, this duo tied for a well-deserved top spot on the leaderboard. As you might guess from its name, the quick step isn't the easiest of dances. I am definitely having a hard time with this one. Keep rotating. No, with your whole body. There's a lot to think about, from frame to footwork and staying in sync while also moving at a high pace. Adam and Jenna effortlessly tick every box, nailing this up-tempo routine in such perfect unison that you'd think they'd been glued together. Are you ready? In the rehearsal package, Adam confessed to feeling nervous about this dance. I don't feel super confident in the steps that I'm doing right now. However, you would never know based on their huge smiles and the way that their dance evokes the utmost joy. Number 8, Freestyle to Singin' in the Rain Remix with Neve Shulman. Channeling Gene Kelly for this dance, Jenna and Neve took one final shot at convincing audiences why they should be the season champions. There's nothing they don't throw into this dance, from props, a costume change, dancing in the rain, and that stunning aerial lift at the end. The change of tempo in this song really allowed this pair to showcase everything they've got, and it could not have gone better. In fact, Jenna said that dancing with Neve reignited her passion for dance. It was hardly surprising when they received a perfect score. After this dance, fans were sure that the mirror ball was theirs. So it was never about how far I got or whether or not we won the trophy for me. It was always just about the experience of sharing my passion for dance. Number 7, Trio Jive to Gimme Some Lovin' with James Hinchcliffe and Sharna Burgess. 
After she stepped in for Sharna earlier in the season, this duo invited Jenna to join them for Trio Week. Look, the band is back together. <laughs> yeah, they performed a lively and energetic race car themed jive that was totally exciting and thrilling to watch. The three of them maneuver through the choreography seamlessly without letting the energy falter for even a second. The way they transition so smoothly between themselves might have you fooled into believing they'd been a trio this entire time. This unforgettable dance put Sharna and James straight in the fast lane to the finals. If only Jenna could join them for the rest of the ride. Those twin carburetors bring extra spark to any engine. You got mine going. Number six, jazz to anything you can do with Adam Rippon. This fabulous theatrical dance could have easily been extracted straight from the Broadway stage. It was their penultimate dance of the season, and simply proved why they deserve the mirror ball. I can shoot a partridge with a single cartridge. I can get a sparrow with a bow and arrow. From their mini lip sync battle at the start to each perfectly performed step throughout, they certainly gave it their all. Not only is the choreography stunning, but you can also see their friendship shine through the dance too. Yes, if you're ever looking for a dance pick-me-up to brighten your day, this is the one. Everything about it is so perfect and joyous, and for that alone, they were already the winners for us. You too are like the wonder twins of dance. <laughs> like your form of amazing dancer, shape of best friend, amazing dancer. Together you save the world and a story. Number five, contemporary to let it go with Artem Chigvintsev. While we love rooting for our favorite celebrity dancers, we also love seeing the pros do their thing on the dance floor too. In season 22, when James Bay was the musical guest, Jenna and Artem performed a beautiful and steamy routine to his song. I used to recognize myself, it's funny how reflections change. The fluidity of each step, as well as their extraordinary lifts, leave us awestruck. Come on, let it go. Just let it be. Why you be you? I'll be me. Jenna and Artem create a very convincing narrative through their movements and each second leaves us utterly mesmerized. Jenna really is the queen of contemporary dance. And why don't you be you? Oh, I'll be me. And everything is If we had one criticism though, it would simply be that this routine wasn't long enough. Number four, contemporary to If the World Was Ending with Neve Shulman. When your professional dance partner is a three-time national contemporary champion, you just know that her choreography is going to be next level. Nothing proves that more than this routine, which gives us everything we could possibly want and more. I know you know we know you are down for forever and it's fine. They hit us straight in the feels with a dance that provides both emotional and dramatic moments. Jenna is also a stickler for good technique, and it's clearly paid off. Would you love me for the hell of it? All our fears would be irrelevant. The choreography is striking, and their lifts are especially impressive. This dance sets the bar pretty high for all future contemporary dances on the show. Together, she and Neve simply took our breath away. If the world was ending, you come over, right? Number three, Argentine Tango to Angelica with Neve Shulman. Since this wasn't the first time Angelica was featured on the show, it was important for this pair to distinguish their dance from previous routines. And if you ask us, it could not have gone any better. Neve totally embodies Captain Jack Sparrow's kookiness while still delivering a strong performance. Rather than hypnotize us with gravity-defying lifts, Jenna decided to focus on choreography and technique instead, and it didn't go unnoticed. We can't get enough of the drama, artistry, sultriness, and even humor behind this dance. If they were hoping to put their own mark on this song, 
X definitely marks the spot. Number two, Viennese Waltz to You Don't Own Me with James Hinchcliffe. After Sharna Burgess sustained an injury and had to rest up for the week, Jenna stepped in to partner James instead. For their Halloween dance, they performed a Suicide Squad themed Viennese Waltz. Together, they effortlessly and elegantly glide around the dance floor, and the change in dynamics throughout the dance are utterly invigorating. They really capture the relationship between Harley Quinn and the Joker in a way that only elevates the performance. You don't own me. Don't tie me down, cause I never stay. This dance is so spectacular that it has since garnered more than 30 million views on YouTube. If we didn't know better, we'd struggle to differentiate between the celebrity and the professional. You don't own me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Paso Doble to Swan Lake Remix with Neve Shulman Since we wouldn't normally associate Swan Lake with a Paso Doble, we couldn't wait to see what this duo had in store. Taking inspiration from Matthew Bourne's contemporary ballet, Jenna extracted their music's dark side for their Black Swan-inspired performance. The expectations were certainly high, but they delivered on every count. The dance has drama, attack, beautiful shaping, and was nothing short of perfection. awarded the first tens of the season and once again sat comfortably at the top of the leaderboard. This dance was truly something special, and we were delighted when they performed it again in the finals. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments! And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here!